Hello, this is Livia Blackburn, and um, I'm making a video for uh, St. Patrick's Community School um, in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. Uh, so thank you very much for reading my book and for sending in questions. A special shout out to the st two students who invited me and uh, uh, to speak in your classroom. Um, I won't mention your name since this is a public YouTube video, but um, you know who you are, so thank you very much. Um, so, before we get started, uh, just a quick recap. So, um, I'm the author of Midnight Thief and the sequel, Daughter of Dusk. Okay, um, They are young adult fantasy novels about a young, talented thief named Cairo who takes a job with the Assassin's Guild and um, things. Um, it, at first, it seems like it's the perfect job, but then, you know, things start going wrong and she wonders maybe, you know, there might be something else going on. And in the meantime, there's a knight in the city who starts investigating crimes that seem to be done by a very talented thief. And as you might imagine, their paths cross and things happen after that. Uh, so we'd, let's move on straight to the questions. So I have 10 questions. We'll, I'll try to get to all of them. Uh, the first question was, how long did it take you to write Midnight Thief? Um, and uh, it's hard to remember. Probably it took me about two years writing the first draft, and this was kind of um, in my free time. I was a graduate student at the time, uh, so I was writing on weekends and evenings, and uh, so I finished in about two years. And then after that, I sold the book to Disney Hyperion and spent maybe um, a year and a half doing more revisions on that with my editor before it finally came out. Okay, so all in all, maybe I wrote probably seven or eight drafts before it was finally published. Okay, second question is, um, what were some of the struggles you faced during writing? And um, honestly, the hardest thing about writing a novel is just finishing. You know, as you can see, <laughs> it's very long. You know, novels are very long, so I think just you know, getting from the beginning to the end is uh, the biggest, uh, the biggest challenge. And um, several things helped me through that. The main thing was that I had a critique group of friends um, who every two weeks we would send each other chapters and um, it really helps you have the accountability to get it done. Because um, otherwise, if you're just by yourself, then you know, you end up playing video games or doing something else. Uh, but if there's someone waiting, then it helps a lot. Okay, uh, so the third question is, um, how old were you when you started writing books? Um, so, uh, I'll kind of combine this with the next question, which was, how did you think of the concept for the book Midnight Thief? So I'll just tell you the whole story of how I wrote it. Um, I've been writing stories since elementary school. Uh, you know, I wrote a short story in fifth grade, and I think that's the earliest I can remember, but I've always loved reading and writing. Um, as for actually writing books, um, so it actually dates back to my high school days. Um, I graduated class of 2000, so some of you are wondering how old I was. You can do the math there. Uh, and I went to a really interesting high school where we had a camping requirement uh, to graduate. So every year we would go camping and this was, you know, this wasn't like RV camping or something. This was, you know, don't shower for a week and dig a hole to go to the bathroom camping and I just absolutely hated it. So um, after a few trips I thought, okay, I need to figure out some way to get out of this. And um, so one thing you could do instead of uh, going camping was you could propose your own project. So I was like, okay, uh, how about I write a novel instead? Because, you know, that's exactly like camping. Um, but to my surprise, uh, the project was approved. So um, in about 10th and 11th grade, and also in 12th grade, I wrote about 80 pages of um, a novel about a young thief who discovers that she was a wizard, okay? Um, and that never went anywhere, uh, but that was my first attempt at a novel. Okay, and um, so the next question is, uh, how did you think of the concept for the book Midnight Thief? So I'll just continue the story. So, you know, I wrote 80 pages of the novel um, back when I was in high school, but then I graduated and I decided that I wanted to be a scientist instead. So for the next 10 years or so, um, 
I just, uh, I was in grad school. I didn't write much at all, hardly even read. Uh, but then um, one day I was at a bookstore and um, I picked up, a, there was this, a display of a very popular uh, YA series at the time um, about a young girl and her vampire boyfriend. You might have heard of it. Uh, but I was reading it and I read the whole thing in a weekend and it just made me remember you know, how much I used to love reading and writing. And so I thought back to that old book. Um, that I wrote and by now I could see that it wasn't as good as I thought it was um, But there were some things that I liked about it and one of the things that I liked about it was this character Kyra who was the best friend of the main character in my old book and so uh, What I did was I took Kyra and I gave her her own story and so I I started with Kyra uh, a character and I had a plot twist um, that I had in mind um, that I really wanted to use. So using these, um, I spun a story around it. Okay. Uh, so the fifth question is, what or who inspired you to start writing books? Um, I think I've always loved reading. Uh, so it was all the books that I read from a young age. There's an author named Tamara Pierce. Um, who writes wonderful sword and sorcery books about girls going off and having adventures. Um, she is probably my biggest influence. Okay. Uh, number six is, uh, what is your best piece of advice for aspiring writers? Um, and I would say, uh, just as I mentioned earlier, find some people who you trust to read your work. Um, for one thing, it makes you motivated to keep writing, and another, it gives you another perspective on your stories, because sometimes as writers, we're too close to our own stories. And we need you know, someone else to tell us, oh, this doesn't make sense, or something or other. But make sure it's something, someone you trust, and someone who enjoys reading the type of stories that you write. Okay, number seven. Who was your favorite character in Midnight Thief, and why? Uh, so my favorite character, I think, would be James, the head of the Assassin's Guild. And um, I like him because um, he's really complex. You know, he's uh, really dangerous and deadly and can be really cruel sometimes, but there's another side of him too. And he has, uh, you know, he has good motivations. Um, you know, he wants to make the city a better place, but maybe his, uh, his methods are not the best. Um, and so, you know, I introduced him as a character, Midnight Thief, and um, in Daughter of Dusk, I really enjoyed kind of delving in more uh, to the different sides of James and just to really see, you know, what makes his mind tick and what made him the way he was. Um, let's see. Uh, so the next question is, uh, when will you release your next book, uh, The Dawn Desert? Uh, so the... Um, the book, is, I'm working on two books right now. Uh, one is um, one is called Desert Dawn, so far I might change the title. And that one, um, that one is a prequel to the Midnight Thief series. So uh, it takes place about 17 years before Midnight Thief. And I don't have an exact date for it so far. I'm about, um, I'm almost done with the first draft. Uh, I'm hoping to release that next June or July, um, but not sure yet. Um, and I have another new YA series called Rosemarked um, that's coming out in uh, January 2018. And that is a different young adult fantasy. Okay. So uh, number nine is what is your favorite book that you have written? Uh, it's always the book that, I'm, that I've just finished, I think. Uh, because I'm always the most enthusiastic about it. Um, so right now, uh, my favorite would probably be Rosemarked. I just finished the first, uh, the first draft of it. And so that one is about a, uh, let's see if I can summarize this. It's about a young healer who is terminally ill and she gets recruited to help a warrior infiltrate a conquering army. And she does that by removing his memory and uh, so that he can go in undercover. Um, I'm really excited about it. There's lots of fun things I can do with memory loss and uh, this romance and uh, 
lots of different cultures. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited about that at the moment. Um, as for my published books, my favorite one is, uh, uh, is probably Daughter of Dusk. Uh, again, it's the most recent one. I feel like I've grown the most as a writer. Um, since, uh, since writing it. So, um, and number 10, um, is, uh, how do you think of the characters' unique names? Um, I use a lot of, uh, I usually use, um, baby name lists. And, uh, so what I do is I, I stick with one language usually. Um, uh, so the demon writers, I use Slovak names. Uh, the demon writers are a group of, um, they, they ride giant cats. They're barbarians who ride giant cats in Midnight Thief. Um, and so uh, I chose Slovak names, and I don't always take them as is. I'll, I'll modify them a bit just um, so that it sounds right to my ear, um, just for my own personal preference. Um, and uh, for other cultures, I'll, I'll choose another language and use the names from there. Okay. And... Okay, so I think, I think that's all the questions that I had. Let me just scan through them real quick. Let's see. Uh, okay, yes, I, I think I did get them all. And uh, okay, so uh, again, thank you very much for reading my books um, and for sending in the thoughtful questions. Um, if you want to keep in touch with me, uh, there's several ways. Uh, okay, so I hope this shows through. Um, so if you want to find me on Twitter or Instagram, I am LK Blackburn. And um, if you want to find me on Facebook, I am uh, so www.facebook.com, Livia.blackburn. Okay. And um, again, thank you very much and uh, keep reading. <laughs>